Okay. Hi, family. I hope you are, you are doing great. So this is the last day of the week. And uh, this time, uh, Aaron, is, Aaron is not here. Uh, he's probably busy today. And uh, so I will be uh, managing uh, this normally with prosper i don't know if prosper is here prosper mm -hmm. i don't think so so uh Hi, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Ah, okay prosper okay, yeah, okay. good yeah, yeah so uh today point i think uh we'll just do uh quickly like the point uh just like the leaderboard we are on track to to update it today today by end of the day yes i think we will finish uh, assigning uh, marking and things and uh, score and then we update the leaderboard yeah and uh so apart from that i hope uh, the weekly challenge uh, i hope everything is going uh, in the right way and uh i know it's challenging but i hope you are managing also yes and uh then normally today i uh, kideon uh, will probably give a talk we started last week with uh talking about how to manage kagal uh, competition so uh, today i think that uh I am about contacting him to to make it clear, like this uh, channel an hour, and then you will see it uh, updated in the Google site. So if he is available, normally he should do uh, he should give the second talk today. And then apart from that, I think uh, feedback about the last week challenge. Yes, you will get it together with. Uh, the, the leaderboard updated. So I think uh, as I was going uh, through the the report, uh, my team and I, we are very, let's say, we are very impressed because we saw like they are really good, like exceptional uh, improvement uh, since week one. If we should compare, yes, I think you are your people are just like really doing uh, great in terms of uh, presentation, like reporting, in terms of uh, conclusion, in terms of making clear your methodology, and in terms of also improving your plot. I know there are still, uh, we, we still have to put in uh, some effort, but from what I saw uh, tied now, yes, I think there are some big improvements. So uh, we leave some comments with the report, the presentation and uh, also the GitHub, you are just like you are really improving things. And to about that, I'm I'm really happy because this is exactly what we need. If we start uh, in a point A, we need to move from this point to a point B where we find some diff uh, significant difference, like in terms of improvement. So at the beginning of this program. Uh, you, you were somewhere and at the end you should also be somewhere and now what I want to start to make the the distance between the two point the largest as possible yes so uh, as I was going through uh, the report I am very happy because I see I saw very big improvements yes plotting things uh, making clear methodology setting objective uh, motivation uh, data uh, structure, data description, I'm, I'm very happy. So uh, what I will say is that uh, maybe you will take care uh, uh, more next time about the the metric because uh, when you use, last, last week was A-B testing and uh, there was the, the, the there was the, 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 the sequential A-B testing, there was the uh, classical A-B testing and then there was the machine learning part. So the evaluation KPI is also important. I know that some of you uh, really did that, and uh, I want to recall that, maybe to explain that to the other also, 
like when we talk about evaluation metric yes we are just talking about when you use a statistical method then you should be like using some metric to appreciate your results yes so in terms of result appreciation let's say for the classical a b testing for example uh, the the sequential a b testing yes you may be using the the p value but before you need to explain quickly like yes we are using p value to uh, to appreciate to evaluate our model and to see like to take the decision between the, the null hypothesis and the, the alternative hypothesis. So basically, when the p-value is less than this threshold, we will just reject the null hypothesis. And when it's not the case, we will just accept the null hypothesis. So uh, I, you need to like put some more effort in this. And apart from uh, the classical, don't forget whatever uh, the method you use, you need always to provide like a KPI, a metric to appreciate your results. So in the machine learning side, you have used three kind of method and uh, through three kind of models. So then uh, you need to think about the loss function, uh, provide like some summary about the loss function in your presentation so that we get that, yes, you have used some machine learning method and then you are just using uh, this metric to appreciate it. So we need like some more description about the, the metric will like make you like just better. And uh, so the other thing is uh, about plotting, but I realize most of you have did very well about the plotting. Uh, you have really improved that, uh, the assays, the legend, the plot kind, uh, the style, the, uh, yes, I think, I think, uh, in this one apart from some people i don't maybe because of time issue some didn't really uh, make any plot uh, almost not i give i leave some comment and i will also leave some comment and team also will leave some comment in the report so i think uh, what you should consider if i have to give an ad, uh, yes if i can I have to to give an ad, advice here i, I would just say that when you are reporting in business, from my own experience, the first things you should like put more effort in is the plotting. If you can manage to answer all the questions with plotting, it's great. If it's not possible, this is not an issue. You will just have to see the way you design so that it be like attractive and simple to get the information because the most important thing is to get the information when you are, you are reporting. So the first way people use is uh, the plotting. So I'm just saying that to tell you that plotting is actually uh, the first level. It's actually the most important. It's actually uh, more important than test. So I think when you are doing the report, yes, I, I know that most of, most of people has done uh, very well, but just to recall to the order also, when you are doing a report, just pay, pay attention to the amount of tests you are using. I, I would like, like, you use, uh, balance, you, you balance the thing, or you use, like, few tests, and then a lot of uh, table or plot. So the first things uh, to use uh, in, uh, like, the first thing to use a lot is the plotting, and uh, the second is the tables. So as much as possible, use plot, and tables and the way you design your things with few summary because they are slide, right? So in slide, we want to like, just give uh, some idea, some points. So slide is also like PowerPoint, so PowerPoint. So we don't need like a lot of tests. We need like some few tests, some few uh, ballot points so that give, just give the idea. And then we focus on like, if we have some information we, as much as possible, we, we can give it like a table or a floating. Yes, so I think uh, that is what I want to, to say. And uh, we are on track for the leaderboard and expect to make it uh, by today, end of day. And uh, yes, so in the technical side and uh, on the presentation side, yes, that's what I will say. And now, 
I don't know, uh, Prosper is managing the, the community uh, side. So I, I, I will let him like just say something about that if he has anything to say. Yeah. Prosper, time is yours. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, so basically, for me, I would say um, it's been interesting trying to interface between uh, the data science team and then just the community side of things and ensuring that every learner is really happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, well, um, yes. Yes. Have you done? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, yes, I'm also, I think uh, some of the, uh, yes, my team, some of my team are also here because the process, are you still talking or have you done? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted to invite like, Yusman, you have uh, you have been uh, graduating and you have also been giving tutorial your impression uh, when you was uh, back in. Uh, is that that? I think uh, Prosper is still talking. Yeah. Probably when okay. You can. okay, okay, I was not getting here. Yeah, I'll just. Just to uh, is it only me because I can't really hear what Prosper is saying? It's exactly. I, yeah, it's breaking also in my side, so that's what that's I was. But let, 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 let him finish here. Yeah. Look forward to modern Yes, I think uh, definitely there is a network issue in uh, Prosper, uh, Prosper side. So what I will do is use can my you hear? I think. Prosper, Prosper, can you hear? Can we hear us? Because we are not like able to hear you. There are some breaking. It's actually very difficult to get your, what you are saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yusman, can you go? I think yeah, you should go. Um, uh, okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I think Jan already uh, said most of uh, the thing regarding uh, uh, the student reports and, uh, and the GitHub uh, submissions. But uh, what I will only say regarding that is that uh, I, I really love how, like, few gradings like i saw most some of the students really uh, uh putting this modular definitions of their functions so it's really nice seeing those and one thing i'll also uh, uh make, make mention here is that uh, in the report writing there there is a lot of graphs and some of these graphs are not well uh, positioned and uh, you can hardly even see the axis and the and the labels so let's uh, try to uh, uh, solve that probably by increasing the sizes of the labels from the uh, from the point where we plot the graph. Because sometimes when you, you want to squeeze things in in one page or two pages and it's you have to resize it there, it's not really easy. You can rather uh, increase the axis in your code 
then it will be visible when you import it in in any of the documents right and also uh, uh, a a very summarized way to also present your results like uh, Jean already said earlier is uh, the tabular format like if you are comparing different results like a result from a b testing from sequential testing and maybe machine learning method not even in last week assignment any week assignment if you are comparing like different methods it's good to see them in tabular form so that, so that you can always relate them together you know you are seeing them together you can always uh, see the differences and maybe similarities rather than uh, going from page one to page 10 to see how the difference the uh, difference of the result from page one where there is a b testing and page maybe seven where there is machine learning so you can collate all the results together in one uh, tabular format. Then you can always uh, discuss uh, the results under the table. So that's also a summarized way of presenting results. So, but uh, apart from this, uh, uh, kudos to everyone because the codes I'm really seeing, they are really nice and different kind of plots. They are really uh, uh, well presented. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. So, uh, Mustafa, is Mustafa here? No, I don't think so. Uh, okay, Abla, any impressions? Hello, everyone. Can yes, you hear we me? do. We do hear you. Okay, um, I have nothing okay. to say today. Um, okay. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, anyway. okay so then I think uh, it's all now. I think uh, what we'll do is just to proceed with the, the stand up. So, where are you? Let me just share. That. Yes. I have uh, some name. I don't know if. Uh, people are here, but I wanted to share so that if someone is here, oh, <laughs> okay, Adna, Adi, thank you, thank you, thank you for <laughs> giving the name. Okay, so, uh, Miyoki? <laughs> is Miyoki there? Hi, I'm here. Okay, just so. Um, this week has been interesting. I've gotten to learn a lot. Um, it was challenging, but then I think we're still kind of like about to reach there. I actually finished uh, creating the Flask application, so all I was left to do was now get it the part for analysis and applying it to my Flask application and deployment. So, yeah, so far, no blockers here. Okay, sure, fantastic. Stephanie? Is Stephanie there? Okay, she can talk. Uh, Emmanuel. Hello, good morning. Yes, everyone. yes, good morning. Um, I've been, I've been doing my best with the project, and we are still we are. Okay, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we do. We do hear you. Okay, okay. okay. So I've been doing my best with project. Me and my teammates, we have been, we have been working on like building our flags application and also the modeling um, will be done at least before saturday thank you very much fantastic sure ken uh can you hear me yeah we do we do hear you uh so what um what um what i've been able to do um uh, is um just deploy like i haven't moved that much because i'm still learning how how to work work around with flask but at least i've been able to to push push some data from 
from the Python side to the HTML side, but it's not it's not appearing where I want it to appear because because I'm using the dashboard now. I'm having a challenge of like I'm using a template, so I'm having a challenge of like knowing like um where this code should be and how to route it to that specific page. But if I'm doing it on a blank page, it's working. But if I go to the dashboard, it's not working at all. So that's the block I have. And I hope I'll be I'll be done with it by today, probably. If I'm not done with it, I think I'll just create a dashboard with W and try push it to the internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Ryan, come on. Are you here? Probably not. Okay, the next is Ada. Uh, morning. Yes. Um, yes, morning. Uh, not really much to say from my end. Just hoping you're all doing fine. Thank you. Okay. Prior Dave. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so um, I'm, I've, I've, all, I've been working on the last part, but um, I'm getting some blockers which are really stressing me up. And, uh, yeah, I hope I'll be able to solve them at the end of the day with my team as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. In case of anything, I'll be asking on, so, on uh yeah. Okay. The next is Claire. Good morning. Good morning. Can you yeah. hear me? Yes, we do. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I worked on finishing the model and making the predictions. And hopefully today, we can start on integrating the model into the Flask application. That's all I have for today. Okay. Good. Uh, Shiran? Okay. Good morning, all of you. Yes, morning. Uh, I don't have really much to say, but I'm just there that everyone is doing okay. And I'll just uh, tell everyone that uh, as much as we're struggling, we we'll just need to hold on to the end. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Chelsea? Is Jola here? The next is Kevin. Uh, how are you doing? Yes, hello. Uh, yeah, so for me, so far so good. I'm enjoying it. Um, I have a couple of other things to take care of, not really in the tenor card thing, so balancing the two is challenging enough and interesting enough yeah and i think that's all me and my team we are getting along well and i'm sure we'll be done by the end of the day yeah mm -hmm. fantastic more work hello good morning Hello, good morning. Yeah, uh, as the brand say, said earlier, we are uh, both together. We had a meeting last night and we are talking about how go on with the last one. In the, and we are trying to do deploy our uh, demo, but it, um, the demo really works on and deployed on the Heroku, but we are still getting hard to deploy the real challenge because we we really need to figure out more about how to uh, receive the inputs and the test data to uh, for the prediction of the model and we are working out on that things that's why great fantastic 
the lessons now. Okay, so this past week has been a, a little bit difficult for me uh, because of uh, power interruptions every now and then. Uh, but regarding the challenge, I believe uh, we'll, uh, we are figuring everything out little by little, step by step. And uh, I believe we're working in a, a good way and we're cooperating and I believe we can make this a mission on time. Fantastic. Fantastic. So the next is Wamuyu. Um, good morning, guys. Good morning. So um, yesterday was, was a day of death to the ego because um, I missed uh, one group meeting. And by the time I was doing my work, now everything had already been done. So <laughs> and had already been allocated. So yesterday I just sat down and went to what the team had been doing and tried to understand that. But so far, so good. We are ready for deployment. Um, I think we're back. We are meeting after this to work on the to, to get basically the the progress. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you there? Hi. Yes, hi. So, Hello. <clears throat> yes, I'm doing well. And I, I hope to, you know, um, be able to complete the task for this week. Then this week has been challenging for me because I have other things running concurrently then I've not been able to really participate in so many things. But yeah, um, I hope I'll go through. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, Adi, thank you for selecting the team. I think your 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 code work very well. So, fantastic. The next person is you. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Yes, my name is Adi. Also, um, me and my team, we are moving steady, maybe not too fast and neither too slow, but we are, we are moving steady and we are on track to um, finish the um, project before deadline. Great, great, great. Hello. Yes. So, uh, thanks all for participating to this stand up. And uh, now I think we have some work to do with Prosper. Uh, I don't know. I, let me see something first. I want to see to make sure. Uh, okay, yes, I'm sure now. So, uh, Prosper, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Can you see Great. me? Great. Yes, we can see you and hope you can also see me because I'm here. So now, if yes. you want to see the learners also, I just yeah. tell them to make um to turn on the video so that we can do the work. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so it's really, really interesting. Today is Friday, and Fridays are usually a good time to reflect and also think about what you want to do over the weekend. And mm -hmm. maybe because I'm a Friday born, I'm super excited, but a little bit uh, not so excited on the outside. So, guys, um, um, this is the day we've been waiting for, and I wanted to use this opportunity to say thank you to. Sebastian for all that he's done for us and being available for all the learners. We actually appreciate everything that you have been doing. Sebastian, for, your video. We'd like I to see your video. Your so guys, turn on your video. This is this is the <laughs> day we've been waiting for. Especially and, Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. And then we want to tell Sebastian uh, how much we feel about him. Um, so guys if you're ready uh, let me see your come so this is for me sebastian uh yeah we are saying thank you and this is from all of us we are saying thank you for all you have done we actually appreciate your love your support teaching us so i'm just going to call uh randomly my my learners to share uh something interesting about sebastian so i'll go with uh biniam over to you Great, 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 yeah. great. I so, like this song. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read what, what I wrote on my <laughs> notebook. <laughs> yeah. Sebastian, uh, so, have you predict have you predicted that? 
with <laughs> your <laughs> Python. Did you predict that with your Python? And you... <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I thank you, thank you so much. Yes, I wanted to say thank you also because uh, I really appreciate to have you in the team. And uh, so it was uh, really one of uh, the the most active Twitter, and I, I really appreciate working uh, with you. And uh, I hope you also appreciate working with us. And but Sebastian is not going. I just like he just have to take some time. Right. And uh, yes, he have to do uh, some work quickly, and then he's he's back again. Yeah, so 10 yeah. Academy is uh, a continuous family. So now never break up. Like he's just going like from some uh, sometimes and then he come back again. So right. he's not going anywhere. So we are just saying hello and uh, yes, we want to thank we'll you. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 So guys, if you're yeah. unable to show your camera, just write uh, what you are writing and then write it in the comment. Uh, sorry, the, the, yeah, the, the comment session below and mm -hmm. the chat box so biniam go ahead <laughs> yeah so, so i'm just, I'm just going to read uh, the three things that that i really like about sebastian that i wrote on my notebook uh, the the first one is i really really like your slack profile picture it's just <laughs> amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah um and um <clears throat> second i really like how he never he never gets tired of answering uh, like everyone's question mm -hmm. so especially during the first few weeks of this program like everybody was going to sebastian with like s like silly questions like questions of every kind and like he <laughs> seems to enjoy them so that that i really admire about him yeah yeah, yeah and the third one is I really like the fact that you can play the piano. Maybe you can play it for <laughs> us someday. <laughs> and, uh, it, was, it was really nice working with you. Uh, I wish you good luck, and I hope we'll see each other again. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> William. Great. So we'll take another person. Uh, Muller Walk. Yeah. Muller Walk. Mulawa, can you hear me? Are you ready? Okay, so whilst whilst we're waiting for Mulawa, we go for Ada. Ada K. Uh huh. So Ada K says you are one of one epic tutor, Sebastian. I really love your sessions <laughs> and your smile. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Awesome. Keep them coming. Ayabila says, Sebastian is a very lively person, good at everything he does. Wow. Uh, Ada says, I can play the bad guy in the in the music video. <laughs> the <bad one." laughs> this is getting interesting. Uh, Lawal, if you're already uh, unmute your microphone and go, shield it. Lawal. Lawal? Oh, can you hear? Oh, okay. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, well, yeah, with Sebastian, it's really been nice. I mean, the profound part of the whole ten academic part was for me in Ali was the fact that okay, when you ask question, I mean, there was always somebody willing to answer you, and that was Sebastian. Then, I mean, you, you never get tired. You keep asking some very silly question. I mean, I know that you see now going back. <laughs> And he keeps answering it. I mean, it's really impressive. Like three, four, five of us at the same time. And there was even a time you have question, somebody asked question in the midnight. I think that was very recent. I think it was only Sholat Noti. And it was like, he wasn't sure somebody would answer in the midnight. Sebastian <laughs> asked. But, so, well, he's a really great man. So, I wish you the very best serving your country. We we'll miss you greatly. So, yeah, that's about my Thank, thank, you. You. thank great, you. Thank great, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. And I'll read, I'll read the sessions, uh, the, 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 the contributions here. So Ayabila says, Sebastian is a very lively person, good at everything he does. 
And Ayabila comes back to say, Sebastian was made to uni, and I'm proud to sit uh, in the next class, I mean, to, to learn. Samuel says, I really love your constructive feedback on each assignment. Thank you so much for being here with us. Mark Kelly says, he's brilliant in his craft, resilient in his endeavors, and all while being graceful. Uh, Ayabila comes like, you need to give me, give us some things, some strings before you go. So when are we going to get that? So whilst we're getting our last uh, contribution, guys, keep writing in the chat box and then also do that in Slack if you haven't. Uh, I will take our last person to speak, then we can do a final active uh, activity. So Rahel, can you really unmute your microphone and then tell us something about Sebastian? Then I can give you some 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 music if if, if you want. Oh great! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We, we would want that. Rahel, over okay. to you. Rahel, are you there? Okay, so um, uh, Rahel, whilst you're sorting out, you can we can get Jeanette. Jeanette, are you there? Can you unmute your microphone? All right, so Gerard says, thank you for always making concepts seem easier and less intimidating. We shall hey. miss this. All the best in your endeavors. Ah, I never knew you, you do that. <laughs> Breaking it down to the simplest level. Okay, so Jeanette, we can hear you. <laughs> yes. Sebastian is, he probably will play one of his favorite uh, songs. No. <laughs> yes, Jeanette, yes. yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. Rahel, we would, we, we, we know. Thank you. Jeanette, your microphone. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh. I what I just wrote what I uh, liked about Sebastian. I will already miss his quick responses. Awesome. So uh, as you keep them coming in the, the chat box below, uh, this is the time that we can wow and surprise um, Sebastian. Sebastian, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, so um, we want to say thank you, and this is uh, any one of us online, please do capture this moment on the screen so that we can show it to Arun when, when he returns. <laughs> so this is for all of us from Hell Academy. We want to say a big thank you to you, Sebastian. And this is how we're going to unravel the surprising thing inside this for everyone to see. Are you ready to see that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's do this, guys. All right, great. So this is it. Uh, from all of us at Ten Academy. Wow. I want to say wow. Thank you, Sebastian. Wow. For everything. We appreciate you. And I know you will enjoy the special gifts from us. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so later today, make yourself available for this special <laughs> gift i know you okay. enjoy it okay 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 so guys make okay. sure you take okay. make sure you make sure you take the screenshot <laughs> okay okay make sure you take the screenshots <laughs> have you taken the screenshots guys <laughs> yeah i think i just like i take some yeah i take one but i don't know if i will share it yeah later. great <laughs> great take, take all the screenshots yes <laughs> So Sebastian, we truly appreciate you. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I think I think I've really enjoyed my time um, with 
Ten Academy. In fact, let me tell you, let me tell you a story, a very short one. Right. So when when I was um, so someone a, a senior and a mentor from Ashesi University sent me the ad about um, Ten Academy wanting um, data science content developers. So he sent it to me. I read the job description, and I, I thought it was going to be a TA role. So there's going to be a sort of like a tutor, and I'm just going to you know assist in the process. So when I spoke with um, Arun, the the vibe I got was that I was the one going to do the teaching, and I got mm. scared. And for the first time in my life, I prayed that I didn't get something that I applied for. Okay, mm. yeah. So I, so of course, I had just had a year of experience in data science, and then I felt I didn't have enough, you know, capabilities to be able to do the work. And but then really, mm. I got it anyways. I got it anyways, and then um, I realized that it wasn't as, you know, complicated or deep as I thought it would be, right? And that brings me back to you know the many times that as people. We have doubted our own abilities to do various things and you know didn't take the chance right and mm -hmm. what i learned from that is that you may never know how you would fit until you try it right and so right. don't be afraid to try new things uh, sometimes new things are very scary you know um they are new because you haven't done it before and so they are they are quite scary uh but the lesson that i learned from that is that Nothing is too big for us to tackle. Um, let's just give it a try, a step at a time, and we should be fine. And I want to thank um, Ten Academy so much for giving me this opportunity to realize this about myself. I did. I, I never knew I could, you know, be teaching, you know, people after just having a year of experience in data science. And Ten Academy made me realize that I could actually do it, right? And I feel really, really grateful. Some opportunities are a lifetime. Um, sometimes you need people to take chances on you to be able to realize some new things about yourself. And that is exactly what Ten Academy has done for me. And I'm so, 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 so grateful. So I want to thank you guys for being an amazing team. I want to thank the, um, the students for being amazing. And it's very wonderful to see how much, you know, you're all growing. Uh, right from the first day up until now, you guys are all growing. And it's really wonderful to see. And um, I know we have about um, six or seven weeks to go. And I want you guys to continue to stay strong. And once we get to the end of the, the, the 18th week, um, you all would um, get into good jobs and you'll be, you'll be able to make Africa proud. So thank you so much um, to everyone. And um, thank you for being an amazing team. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank sure. you so much. Super we appreciate this. And we, we look forward to stay in touch, as uh, Jean said. So this yeah. is the time where I say uh, thank you to everyone. And I'll yeah. hand over to... Uh, and uh, uh, me, I think especially, you know, Sebastian is uh, actually, a, let's say, a senior a data scientist. And... Uh, he's at the in the middle of his career so what i wanted also is uh, to push him uh, ahead and uh, one of the way uh, to do that is actually look i i know he's very active on uh, linkedin so what i will do myself is to go on linkedin and find his profile and give him some good recommendation and what yeah. I want to also is uh, to suggest, okay. like, yes, <laughs> so I suggest, yes. Yes. yes, because, you know, we are like, today, we are not just really like a uh, teacher and, uh, and yes. students, no, we are a family. So yes. we are, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a, 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 a ten academy fellow like you, and we are all here, data scientists. So like, I just wanted uh, you, you, you know, you are about, uh, 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 51 people. So I imagine the the things, the 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 impact this will give if the 51 person just goes and just give him good recommendation on the LinkedIn profile. Imagine, just imagine yourself. I know that you. I think by the end of this program, I will be giving recommendation to you all. 
So I suggest like we help each other like this. Just go on LinkedIn, find his profile and write some nice recommendation. If he get like 60, uh, like uh, 55 recommendation, uh, very good recommend like i i think that then uh the the next recruiter uh, even if it's 10 academy this the salary will be like so like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i suggest that i suggest thank that you, thank, that you, thank you thank you thank you find him thank in you. uh yeah in linkedin and give good recommendation yes thank <laughs> you thank you so yeah. much thank you so much i really appreciate okay. it thank yeah. you Great, awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right, yeah. so I think uh, uh, we, will, we will continue again in, in, our, in our, how do I call it, on Slack. Okay, so sure. just make make the best of him this few days. He will be around on Slack though. So in, in case you still don't understand them, you feel like, okay, you want to just reach out to him, just text him on the side. But like you said, um, he probably wouldn't be actively available but if you need to talk with him you feel you you just send him a message but we also encourage you to also connect on uh, linkedin um i've seen a lot of people um that i'm in connection with on linkedin so just send one to sebastian as well and let's keep the vibe so on this note we are done with our presentation and okay prosper let me let me do something small for them Oh, great. Yeah, on the keyboard. I hope you can all see my keyboard, my small keyboard. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> can you hear? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's when Beethoven came back to life. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, and uh, <laughs> I think yeah. my algorithm to take that woman as fall in love. So someone is trying to take you and marry you here. And, <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> I remember uh, 2017 Ten Academy, we were just playing around. So like someone is loving for someone and i think this time yes mm -hmm. you make it you make it you make it thank so you. who thank are the candidates I'll, I'll give sebastian to only one woman they want <laughs> <they won. laughs> <laughs> but by the end of the way they want to have the great data profile i'm giving him for free <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay Thanks, 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 everyone. Thank, I you. Thank you so much. Thank you so yes. much.
Prosper, I think this right. uh, th this video, this recording, uh, make it like <laughs> clear. Give give it a special title when you are posting. Exactly. It. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Let's say data science by music. Sebastian uh, 2020, yeah. yeah, something like that. Put it, yeah. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks, thank sure, you. Thanks. Sure, yeah. sure. All right. Now stop there, okay. Yeah. Sure. Bye, okay. guys. Yeah. yeah. Peace.